Okay, so today we're going to learn how to turn fractions into decimals. Okay, a lot of them they'll be less than, than one, so zero point something. Now the first thing we do is we divide the numerator or the top number of our fraction by the bottom number, the denominator. So three divided by four. Okay, I think of a man riding a horse. The rider rides on top of the horse. And then at night, the rider goes in the house to sleep while the horse has to stay outside in the stable. Okay, now 4 doesn't go into 3 at all. So there's a 0 there. But we don't just say, oh, it's 4 remainder 3 or anything like that. We don't, or 0 remainder 3. We don't, we don't want to do that. So what we do is, since we'd have a remainder, if we went 4 minus, uh, 0 minus 4 is, yeah, it just wouldn't work. We put a 0, or we put a decimal place and we add a zero, okay? Because four doesn't go into three, but four goes into 30. Okay, now when you add the zero to the end, you have to put a decimal. If you put a decimal inside, you have to put a decimal up top on our answer and they have to line up. So four goes into 30 seven times, okay? And seven times four is 28. So when I do my subtraction problem now, my remainder is going to be 2. You might think, well, where's the 0 coming from? Wait, well, let's get rid of that right now. Since I have a remainder, what I need to do is I need to add another 0 to it. 4 wouldn't go into 2, but 4... Um, I can now bring that 0 down. And while 4 doesn't go into 2... 4 certainly goes into 20. Now, 4 goes into 20 5 times. And 5 times 4 is 20. And when I subtract, I get 0. So I keep adding zeros until I no longer have a remainder. There's nothing left over here. So I know that 3 over 4, or 3 fourths, the decimal is 75 one hundredths, or 70, uh, 0.75. Now that's how I turn fractions into decimals. Sometimes I'm going to be asked to go the opposite way, turn decimals into fractions. Now this is 0.12, or 12 hundredths. So that's pretty easy. I just, go, I just put my 12 over my hundred, because that's 12 hundredths, and that's 12 hundredths. Okay, I know by my place value. Tenths, hundredths. But that's not the most simplest form. I want to put my fraction in the most simplest form. So what I do, like I showed you before, is I'm going to do a prime factorization. Now I'm not going to show you how to do a prime factorization in this video. I have other videos. I'll even put the, the, the links in the description of this video if you need to learn how to use a factor tree in order to um, make a prime factorization. But I, have, but I know that after, if I made a factor tree, 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. These are all prime numbers. And my 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now these are already crossed out because if I have a number on the top and a number on the bottom, I cross those out. Number on the top, number on the bottom, I cross those out. And the numbers that are left, well, I multiply them to get my new fraction. So 3, well, there's nothing to multiply it by, so it just stays 3. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Boom. And I'll bring this up right here. And what's left is 5 times 5. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. So 12 hundredths is the same as 3 25ths. You could also look that, look, since I have a 2 times 2 in both the top and the bottom, I could divide 12 and 100 by 2 times 2, which is 4. So 12 times 4 is 3. And 100 divided by, sorry, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. I can do that too. But I like to make my prime factorizations because when I know when I cross out those numbers, I'm always going to get the most simplest form. Now sometimes if you might have to make your fraction into the thousandths place if there's three numbers up here. But this is a good way, a good way to learn how to turn that fraction, that decimal, into a fraction and then simplify it.